Hello friends, my name is JJ. How are you guys doing? I'm not doing great. I've been living on the streets lately. I'm always hungry. No one's helping me. I have no parents. I don't have a place to sleep either. But luckily, I have a lot of my subscribers and viewers. You guys always cheer me up. I love you friends. Uh oh, dumpster. Just what I need. There might be some food in there that I really need right now. I don't think anyone can see me. I'm embarrassed to go through the trash while someone's looking at me. On the other hand, I have have no choice. I don't know of any other place to put food. It stinks in here, you know. It's awful. Why doesn't anyone put the discarded food on top of the garbage cans? Okay, let's go. Where's the food? There's nothing at all. How can there be no food? Oh, I think I found something. I want something else. In the whole dump, I only found one red apple. It's not rich, but it's something. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, I can't get enough of that. I need to continue my quest to be at least a little bit fed. I remember eating home-cooked food before. Uh-oh, is it raining? That's a problem. Let's put hunger aside. Now I have to find shelter or I'll get sick. I'd like to find some kind of roof over my head. Oh God, I'm gonna get soaked. Not cool, you know. Oh, a house made out of newspaper. Some previous homeless people built it. Just what I need. I think the cabin is unoccupied and I can take it. And if some other homeless person shows up, I'll say I built it myself. Yeah, at least it's not dripping rain here. And plus there's a fire to keep me warm. Perfect. Things just keep getting better and better. I got lucky today. Friends, what do you have for breakfast today? Write about it in the comments. It's nice that someone has a warm home and good food that doesn't come from a dumpster. At least I can be jealous of someone. The next day. Oh, good morning, everyone. Such a good day. I hope it will be as beautiful as this morning. It's time to go eat. It's a good thing I'm not some stinking homeless guy. The rich man's life is good. Lucky me. Darling, how much money did we make this month? Uh, about half a million dollars. It's not enough. We need a million. Good morning, Mom, Dad. I'm awake. I guess making another half a million dollars isn't that hard. Once again, parents only think about money. They don't even notice me. I think I'll have time for breakfast at school. That way I won't be late for my lessons. Oh, Mikey, good morning. Good morning, son. You should hurry up to school. Good luck with everything today. Just don't meet any homeless people along the way. They might eat you out of hunger. Yes, they are very dangerous. You shouldn't even talk to them. Uh, okay. What could they possibly do to me? It doesn't matter. I'm already a little late for school. Although if I were homeless, I would definitely start stealing food from stores and robbing people passing by. I would do anything to survive and provide food. It's a good thing I grew up in a wealthy family. <sighs> Ugh, is it over raining already? And the next day is here. Good morning, everyone. How my back hurts from sleeping on the floor. Friends, could you live on the street for a week for $100,000? Write about it in the comments. Unfortunately, I'm doing it for free. It's sad, you know. If I had money, I'd be buying tons of food for myself right now. Now it's time to wait for passersby to give me this food or some money. I think someone will give me a couple of dollars for today. How pathetic it all looks. But I have no other choice. I'm not stealing food or robbing anyone because I'm a good person. All I have to do is wait for people who want to help me. Guys, would you give me a couple dollars? All the money's gonna go towards my food. Write about it in the comments. Oh, there's the first passerby. Hey, a little money for food, please. Oh, what is it that's so disgusting to smell? Hey, I smell a little stinky, but not too bad. Can I have a couple dollars for food, please? You don't have any money for food. Yeah, I'm starving, and sometimes I look for food from dumpsters. I'm a homeless poor boy. So you live on the street. How interesting. Nothing interesting at all. My life is very complicated. This cabin saves me from the rain and under the fire I warm myself on cold nights, but I risk being burned alive. There are always many risks in my life. Yeah, it's not cool here at all. I feel sorry for you, man. Oh, you don't even have your own bed. I can't imagine living like this. Somehow I have to. Will you still give me a couple dollars to make my life a little better? It seems to me that two dollars isn't going to make your life better. Then how do you want to help me? I don't know. Oh, I got it. Let's go to my house. You can eat there and wash up because you're so stinky. Ha, that sounds awesome in general. It's nice when someone has their own house. Then hurry up and run. I didn't eat anything this morning. Then let's go. I have a lot of delicious and different food in the fridge for you. By the way, what's your name, boy? I'm JJ. What's your name? Huh, like DJ and my name is Mikey. Nice to meet you, Mikey. Let's be friends. That's a good idea. I'm in. There's my house. Maybe my parents would be against a homeless and smelly boy like you, but I'll try to talk them into it. Okay, it'd be nice of you to stick up for me. Whoa, your house is so big and 
rich. It must be cool to live in a place like this. Well, I'm used to it and I think it's the standard, so I don't care. Too bad, Mikey. You don't appreciate all the benefits of the good life. You even have your own pool. My pool was the dirty city river. Maybe you're right, JJ. I don't appreciate what I have. Let's go meet my parents. Try to be a little nicer. You're entering a cultured society. I'm already very cultured, Mikey. Mom, dad, hi. This is my new homeless friend, JJ. Hi, everybody. I'm very cultured, by the way. Oh my god, he's so cute. Oh yeah. Ooh, he stinks so bad. Why does he smell like garbage? It's a very nasty smell. JJ lives in a dumpster. What a nightmare. It's really bad. He must have been very hungry in there. You bet I'm hungry. I'd eat anything that's edible. I want him to live with us. That's a great idea. We'll take care and feed him. And you, Mikey, run to school. JJ's gonna be fine. Uh, okay. Now we're going to have a second son. I'm so excited. What? I'm gonna live here? Thank you, Mikey. We're so happy. Okay, bye, everybody. I'm off to school. And don't hurt JJ. He's already my friend. Bye-bye, Mikey. You're the best. By the way, you're hungry. Let us feed you right now. I wouldn't say no to a meal. He hasn't eaten in ages. You don't spare any food for me. What kind of stupid questions are these? Of course not. We could feed you our entire refrigerator right now. That's great. What have you got? I didn't eat breakfast today. We have all sorts of different foods. What would you like to eat, JJ? Anything. I'm not picky about food. Okay, then we'll give you a little bit of everything. You'll try each dish and decide what you like best. Wow, it's like I'm at a royal dinner. This is so cool. Here's your food. Help yourself, JJ. I hope you like it. Wow, this looks so beautiful and delicious. This is the kind of food I've only seen in junk magazines. Now you can eat good, tasty, and healthy food. You can forget about climbing through the garbage. Okay, yum, yum. Mmm, so good. I knew you would love it. Eat before it gets cold. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank you so much. You pulled me out of my hunger. Don't eat your tongue, son. Ha <laughs> ha. Three hours later. Hello, friends. I've eaten and I've bathed. Now I'm gonna live in this room. I also slept by the garbage can today, and now I have this cool computer. Along with a cool bed, of course. Even the cartoons are on all the time here. All thanks to my friend Mikey. I'm so grateful to him and his parents for all of this. Really, I don't know where he'll be living. I took the room where he lived, but I don't really care about that. Oh, hey, Mikey. Hello, JJ. I'm finally back from school. Tell me how you're doing here. Everything's great. I'm not hungry for the first time this year. I'm also clean. Now I don't smell like garbage. Oh, that's great. I'm really glad you're feeling better, JJ. All that's left is to find you a place to sleep. Uh, I have a confession to make. Let's go to my room. Maybe we can put a second bed in there. Uh, your parents have already decided where I'm gonna sleep. They haven't decided anything. Uh, I don't get it. Why my stuff isn't here? Because your parents decided to give this room all to me. But this is my room. They couldn't have done that. Unfortunately, they already have. The bed and the carpet are my color. The toys are mine now, too. I'm sorry, Mikey. It's only been three hours. How did you steal everything in here from me so fast? You shouldn't have gone to school. Your parents love me more now. Oh, you're a traitor, JJ. I helped you get out of the dump, and now you're being so mean to me. So go talk to your parents. It's not my fault. It's their decision. Uh, okay. I'll talk to them, and they'll give me my room back. And then you'll be living on the streets again. I shouldn't have helped you, you filthy, stinking, homeless guy. Hey, that's rude. I might get offended. I don't really care if you take offense at me. I don't want you in my house anymore. Mom, Dad, JJ took my room. I don't really have a place to live right now. We actually gave JJ your room. And you can sleep somewhere else. Where you think I should sleep. I want my room back immediately. Otherwise, I'll be very offended. Haha, <laughs> take all the offense you want. You're a sore loser, Mikey. You make us laugh. Nobody wants you here at all. <laughs> Get out of here. You feel bad about giving your room to your new brother? You're pathetic, Mikey. You're all idiots. Then I'll leave home and live on the streets. What? It's not safe at all. I don't care. If I'm not welcome here, the street will take me in. I'm going to live my life as a JJ. This will be a lesson to you that a native son is better than an adopted son. Haha, <laughs> we don't care at all. Let him live by the dumpster. He's such a whiner. Ha ha ha. Totally agree. He could have lived in the garage in peace. Mikey's room is now fully in my hands. Oh, that's so great. I'm I'm gonna go play computer games. It's awesome. The next day. Hey, everybody. Don't you feel sorry for Mikey? Write about it in the comments. He's starting to annoy me. Can you believe what he made up? He's sleeping under my balcony and he snores at night. He kept me awake, but I have a plan. I'm gonna set him up. I'm gonna put money and some expensive equipment in his pocket, make his parents think he's a thief, and then he'll be off the property for good. Let him live by the dumpster like I did. Wow, that's a 
lot of diamonds. I'm gonna drop them all off at Mikey's. In addition to the diamonds, you can give him this super expensive iPad. What a cunning and ingenious plan I have. Now I'm gonna be the only child in the family. All the love and care of Mikey's parents will go to me. Ha 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 ha. Okay, I don't think anyone can see me. I'm fine. No one can stop me. There he is, lying asleep. Thanks for helping me out, but it's time for you to get out of here, buddy. There's your diamonds. Ha ha ha. Your mother will be surprised when she doesn't find them in her drawer. You shouldn't have stayed up so late, Mikey. It's better to wake up early. I think it's your fault. Ha ha ha. Oh, hey there. Hey, JJ, I see you're awake already. Good for you. And Mikey likes to sleep late. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I noticed that a long time ago. Oh my God, we've been robbed. How awful. Uh, what? How did this happen? I don't know. Come here quickly. Can you believe it? We don't have our diamonds in our chest. They also stole my expensive iPad. No way. It's worth a lot of money. Hey, I think I saw that iPad on the street. Uh, someone dropped it when they were robbing us? I don't know. You should see it. The iPad is lying right next to Mikey. Maybe we should ask him. Let's hurry before he runs off with it. How could he do that? Uh, good morning. Why are you all so angry? Why is our iPad lying next to you? Uh, I don't know. Come clean. Are you a thief, Mikey? Why did you steal the iPad? Wait, I didn't steal anything. Mikey's lying. He wanted to run away from home with him. Give us our diamonds. Oh, let go of me. I didn't steal anything. You're making a mistake. What a stupid thief you are. You couldn't even get away with the loot. You're an idiot, Mikey. Oh my God, he's got so many diamonds. He's got his pockets full. How could you steal from your own family? I didn't steal anything. Who did it then? You're lying to us. I swear to you that this was planted on me. Don't believe him. He wanted to leave home a rich man. Get out of here. You're not our son anymore. I hate you. Go away. Thief. There's no place for thieves. Mommy, Daddy, JJ is cheating on you. He's lying all the way. How mean of him. It's nice to have a better son than him now. Here are your diamonds. A lot of them fell off him. I'll be a much better son than he is. I'm sure you'll be the best son in the world. We already love you like our own, JJ. Let's go get some breakfast. Let's forget about Mikey. Okay, I'm gonna go cook something. Love you, Mom, Dad. Haha, <laughs> guys, my plan worked. Like this video and subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye, guys. Yeah, I didn't think JJ was capable of such dirty deeds. Now I'm a full-fledged homeless man just like him. On the other hand, my parents gave up on me so easily. I don't belong with such horrible people. It's so cold and uncomfortable. I've never slept on the floor. That's terrible. Two hours later. We have some big news today. Today is the best day ever. It's Mikey and me's birthday today. Yay. Yay. Mikey, what do you think our parents have in store for us? Maybe a lot of gifts? Yes, I'm sure they will give me lots of gifts. Wow, I'm going to have a lot of gifts then too. It's a birthday. I wish I had lots of presents, more than you. But Mikey. Let's go to breakfast. It's probably ready by now. Mikey, wait, it's not just your birthday. It's my birthday too. Oh, huh. Which means we have to have the same number of gifts. So you're saying you'll have as many gifts as I do? Of course you and I are on an equal footing. That's not gonna happen, JJ. Uh, I'll have 100% more gifts. Our parents love me more than they love you. Come on, Mikey. Well... Come on, let's go to breakfast. Yes, I agree. I'm a bit tired of arguing about this topic and very hungry. Let's go. There's no point in arguing because I'm just as loved as you are. Mom, good morning. Good morning. Wow, our birthday boys are awake. But darling... Of course it's not your birthday today. But we thought we'd treat you now anyway. We're all going to the toy store together tomorrow. This is going to be fun. We'll get you both all the toys you want. Cool. Oh. Now it's time for breakfast. Yeah, I'm hungry. Are we gonna have cake? Yes, there will be cake, but tomorrow... Yay! I made the best breakfast ever for you. Let's go eat. I'm so hungry. Wow, Mom, the table is full of food. Thank you. You're welcome. It's all for the both of you, so enjoy. Yes, bon appetit. Oh, Mom, that's just beautiful. Your mom spent hours cooking. Wow, good for Mom. I'm already looking forward to tomorrow. Hmm, my time has come. Hee hee hee. JJ has no idea what I'm up to. JJ argued with me that he would have just as many gifts, but that's not going to happen. Today, I'm gonna make sure you don't have any gifts at all. You can sleep well tonight, all right, but this is your last good night, brother. Because I have one thing that will help me change everything. Whoa, ha Now we'll see who won and who lost. Come on, Jean, come out of your lamp and make my wishes come true. Uh, I think I saw a guy do that in a cartoon. Hmm, rub the lamp with your hand and Jin will come out. Come on, I need all your magic power. So where's my score? Where's my gene? <laughs> uh, my dear little friend, you got me out of the lamp, so I will fulfill your three wishes. Wow, I was beginning to think it wasn't all true. 
Nice! Jean, listen to my first wish. Mm, I'm listening. I wish I got more presents than my brother JJ. Mm, okay, what else would you like? And I want to be loved a lot more than JJ. Lately, he keeps saying we are loved equally. Hmm. Oh, well, uh, you have one last wish left, so think twice before you make it. Hmm. Okay, I'll think about it. This should be something that's good for you. Oh, right! I want my own room. Oh, my God. I want this whole room to be just mine and let JJ live in the pantry. All right, little boy. I'll fulfill your wishes. Tomorrow you'll have another life waiting for you. Hmm. Ooh. Um, I thought he was going to do it all at once, but come on. If it's the way I want it tomorrow, that's even better. I'm already interested to see JJ's reaction tomorrow. I think he's going to be so jealous. After all, tomorrow is the best holiday for me and the worst holiday for him. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, I slept so well tonight. Uh, where am I? Wait, wait, this isn't my room. Why am I here? Is this some kind of joke? I'm in our closet, but why? I remember falling asleep in my room. Can't parents make a joke like that? But it's my birthday, right? Uh, where's my bed anyway? And why does everything look like Mikey's room? Oh my God, this is all very strange. I'll have to ask mom and dad what's going on here. Wow, they're almost all set for the party. Just a couple more details. Mom, why did I wake up in the closet? Oh, what's that? Is this some kind of joke? I woke up in the pantry and my bed wasn't in the room. The sun's room. not fully up and our sleep. You have no right to sleep with our favorite Go son. Go finish cooking Mikey's cake. Wait, what? This cake right here. See? Uh. This is your only assignment for today, so don't mess it up. But mom, it's my birthday too. Oh, hmm. Oh, who's awake? Uh. Where are my presents? Oh, my favorite. I didn't sleep very well, hmm. so I hope you prepared a lot of presents for me. Sure, here are your gifts. Look over there. Uh, oh my god! Uh, uh, this is kind of weird. What do you mean? How many presents are there? There are exactly 36 gifts here just for our favorite son, Mikey. What? I mean, 36. Hmm. Last year, you got me 37 presents. Huh, what? How can you explain that, huh? Uh, oh, Mikey, we're all going to go to the store together right now and buy you another gift. Isn't that too many gifts for him alone? Only for you. All right, I agree. Wait, what's this all about? Have you figured out what you want to buy yet? I want a $1,000 toy car. Cool, let's go to the store. Wait, what about me? Don't even think about coming with us. Dad! You belong here. Finish cooking the cake and clean the house. But I want to go. Are you stupid? Mikey! You can't come with us. Why? You have no right to even talk to me. Stop! Go make me a delicious cake. Clean the whole house and then go to your pantry. Oh! Did I say that right, Mom and Dad? Yes, you did the right thing. Well then, shall we go to the store? Yeah, let's go. I don't understand. What did I do? JJ, stop following us. Hmm. You heard everything you need to do. But mom... We'll be there soon, so finish cooking the cake. Get the house sparkling clean. Come on, JJ. Uh, okay. It's so strange and incomprehensible. Why our parents' attitude towards me has changed so drastically. It's all very strange. I'll spit in the middle of the cake to show my displeasure. Three hours later. Hello again, friends. I've been here for the last hour finishing this cake. I've never made a cake before. I put a bunch of pepper and salt in it. I think it's going to be good. Of course, I'm not going to eat it. I don't understand why I didn't get a single gift, and Mikey was given such a mountain of gifts. It's not fair. Oh, they're here already. Thank you for the 37th gift. Now I'm satisfied. Anything for you, Mikey. Now you can eat your birthday cake. Yeah, it's ready. You can try it. I'm sure it's delicious. Yeah, JJ did his best here. At least you can do something silly. I can do a lot of things. Let's get to the cake. Mikey, take a bite. Okay, okay, we're tasting it now. What's this? I wanted a cherry cake, and this cake has some kind of pepper, and it stinks. It doesn't stink. I don't know. It looks like a normal cake. No, that's not okay. JJ screwed it up again. This cake is terrible. But I tried. It's a good cake. No, you ruined the cake. No one's gonna eat it. You must be punished. Go to the closet and stay there for the rest of my birthday. Mom, am I right? JJ must be punished. Yeah, Mikey's right. JJ, you're grounded. Get in the closet and stay in there. You ruined Mikey's birthday party. What? Mom, are you serious? We don't like you. Get out of here. Go away. We don't love you, JJ. You're the worst son in the world. Okay, whatever you say, it's a shame, you know. Go away. You've ruined my favorite son's party. Go away. We don't love you. You're disgusting. Your cake stinks and you stink too. Go away already. I don't want to look at you. All right. I hope you all choke on this cake. It was all so good yesterday. Oh, what is that? That thing looks like a gin lamp. And why is that lamp by Mikey's bed? I don't believe in magic, but my parents have been acting really weird lately. I should take that lamp back to my closet. Maybe I can take it all back so my parents will love me again. Guys, if you had a genie lamp, what three wishes would you ask for? Write about it in the comments. And I need to take this lamp to my place so Mikey or my parents don't see me. I'm gonna get punished again. Okay, I read a story that you have to rub a lamp three times to make it work. A genie
Genie will come out of there and he'll help me. Okay, let's get started. One, two, three. So where's that gin? I'm coming out now. You don't have to hit the lamp so hard. What kind of habit do you all have? Oh my god, a real gin? Yeah, I'm a real gin, and I will grant you three wishes. That's awesome. Okay, my first wish is that I want Mikey and I to split gifts. Gifts? Okay, you'll get an equal number of gifts. It's done. Oh, already? Okay, cool. For my second wish, I want my parents to love us equally as much. Doesn't it feel good to be unloved? I understand. You got it. Now tell me your third last wish. Hmm, let me think about it. Third wish. I want to share a room with Mikey again. Do you still want to live with him after everything he's done? Okay, all your wishes are spent, and now it's bye-bye forever. I can't believe all the wishes have been granted, but I'll hope for the best. Hopefully our parents will love me again, and Mikey's wishes will stop working. The next morning. Ooh, it's so good to sleep in this room on my own bed again. It looks like Mikey is still asleep and hasn't noticed me. I'll have to wake him up and make him happy that we are now living like we used to. Okay, Mikey, wake up. Good morning, my dear brother. Oh, uh, what? Who's waking me up, JJ? Why are you in this room? And now we can. This is the common room. What? Are you out of your mind? Go sleep in your closet. This is my room. The closet? No, I don't sleep there anymore. I'm sleeping next to you in that bed over there now. But you can't sleep here. Your parents have forbidden you to be here. You belong in the closet. I'm going to tell them. Go ahead, try it. So I'll go and tell them. You'll be punished again. Go and tell them. I'm never sleeping in the closet again. What makes you think they won't beat you up? They banned you in front of me yesterday. What's going on? You left the gin lamp by your bed. Mom, Dad, JJ's disobeying you again. He slept in my room tonight. Punish him. Sleeping in your room? What's the big deal? But you said he should sleep in the closet. What? We didn't say anything like that. You and JJ share a room. You two sleep there together. What's the problem? I don't want to share a room with him. Tell him to sleep in the closet. What? In the closet? Are you crazy? It's not going to happen. No, Mikey. It's your brother. Apologize to him right now. Okay, JJ, please forgive me for wanting to move you into the closet. I'm sorry for what I did. I won't do it again. Okay, Mikey, I forgive you. You're my brother. I love you. That's it. From now on, live peacefully. Okay, Mom, we're not going to fight anymore. That's great. It's so good to see you two being friendly again. Yeah, you're both good. We love you equally, children. Don't think we have a favorite. You got us? Yes, of course. We love you guys so much, too. I love you, too. Oh, that's great. And my dad and I have to go to the store. I hope you don't get into any more trouble while we're gone. Okay, we'll try not to screw it up. Bye-bye, Mom. Bye-bye. My dad. Goodbye, get some burgers. Bye. Okay, we'll get burgers. Cool, I'm getting burgers. They love me more. Bye, JJ. Bye, Mikey. We love you both. Did you hear that? They love us both. I think you imagined it. JJ, let's open our birthday presents. There's an equal split between you and me. Oh, that's awesome. Let's open them. But you have 18 gifts and I have 19, so I'm really loved more. Oh, Mikey, one gift doesn't count. It counts, but you better forget about it. Let's watch cartoons. Oh, cartoons. That's a great idea, Mikey. I love cartoons. Patrick and SpongeBob are so funny and friendly, just like you and me, Mikey. Yes, I agree. You're like Patrick. Because I'm red? No, because you're as stupid as Patrick. The next day. Today, Mikey and I are starting our day not with coffee, but with toys. Hey, hey! I talked JJ into spending time together with our toys today. That's true. Though I'd certainly prefer to go play on the computer more. Let's pick what you want then, JJ! That's great! Then let's you pick what we're gonna play. And we're already getting it all in here so we can start playing. Awesome. Kids, I'm home. Did you hear that? Looks like daddy came home. Yeah, I heard that too. Let's go meet him soon. Let's go, Mikey. There's a reason he's calling us. Maybe something's happened. I think so too, JJ. We should find out. Maybe he bought us some kind of gift, or maybe he just wants to meet us. Hi, Daddy, did you call us? Hey, kids, I had an interesting story. I found a treasure. Cool. I don't really know where to hide it, so I'll take the treasure to the basement. But don't tell anyone in case somebody comes and takes it. Wow. Did you hear that, Mikey? That's great. Now you can buy us a PlayStation 5? What's a PlayStation 5? What are you talking about? Of course not. No toys or consoles. I'm saving this treasure for hard times. Please, Daddy. We really want to. No, don't even ask. I'll go get them so you all won't be tempted. You could have just bought us a present. Come on, guys. No offense, please. We're not offended. Just sad that he won't buy it. That's it. I've hidden the treasure. Now it's in a safe place. Fine. Let's keep them there for a while. Why keep it for nothing? You can just spend it. I think so, too. Go on up to your room, kids. All right. Uh-huh. Come on, JJ. Why is Dad so greedy? He wouldn't lose much if he just bought us a PlayStation 5. I'm very angry with our father. It's not nice. I agree. Where did you go? Wait for me, Mikey. It just makes me want to scream and run around in anger. We don't ask that much. Why is he so greedy to us? I don't understand it either. Let's go get money and buy our own PlayStation. 
We know where it's hidden. But we can't do that, JJ. It'll be fine. They won't find out for a while yet. No, JJ, I won't do that. It's not nice to steal from our family. Let's go get it. What are you afraid of? We're getting a PlayStation 5. No, you don't have to talk me into it. I won't do it. It's not right. Oh my god, Mikey, you're such a coward. You can think of me that way. Go on, it's bedtime. Yeah, I didn't expect that from you. Well, let's get some rest then. All right. No offense to me for that. Good night to you. Same to you, Mikey. But that's okay. I'll just do it myself tonight and no one will know about it. Quietly. Okay, I'm awake, it's full night, and everyone should be asleep. Mikey's definitely asleep. Then I can go and collect. Just have to be careful. What would you guys do if you were me? Write your opinion in the comments. And I'll be on my way to the basement to get the money. If Mikey's afraid to do it, then I'll do it alone. As long as no one hears me or catches me. I have to go down carefully and make sure there's no one downstairs. The TV is on, but it's like no one's there. I don't see anyone in the kitchen either. The main thing in this business is to take your time. Haste makes waste. All right, we can go to the basement. And here's the treasure that Daddy found. It's in this chest. We've got to go and get it before someone comes. Wow, that's a lot of money. I'll take it all. All right, it's done. It was no big deal. But did I do the right thing by taking all the money? Of course it's right, because now I can buy anything I want. Only now we have to make sure no one's here again. I don't know if anyone woke up and came in here. No one's here, we can run to the room. That's it, the plan is done. All that's left to do is hide that money and go to bed. I'll hide it in Mikey's chest and buy him a present tomorrow. We just have to do it quietly so Mikey doesn't wake up. Great, he didn't hear anything. Now we can go to bed. I did it perfectly. Mikey will be 100% excited about the gift tomorrow. Now we can fall asleep. The next day. Listen, the kids were pretty upset yesterday. Why don't we just buy them a present? Actually, I overreacted yesterday. Let's do that. Great, the kids will love it. They've been asking for a PlayStation 5. You've got enough money to buy them that, right? It's a very expensive gift, of course. But I think, yes, we can afford it. Then I'll go to the basement and take all the money that's in there. Even though it's expensive, it won't be too bad for our kids. Kids are everything in our lives. All right, I think we're all here, so there was no one in the basement. We can go get them. We have to get everything done while they're asleep. All right, let's get the money. Wait, where's all the money? Where'd it go? Looks like some cheeky kid snuck in and took the money. How dare they do that? Just steal everything? Oh, I'm going to give them a hard time. I'm really angry. I'm going to punish whoever stole the family's money. Children, get up quickly. What? What happened? Which one of you insolents took all the money out of the chest? Oh no, how did they know? Now they're going to check it out. JJ, confess, did you steal the money? Don't you dare lie to me, tell me the truth. No, Dad, I didn't take anything. Stop yelling, please don't scare our children. If it wasn't you, then Mikey took it all. Hey, Mikey, come on, wake up. Did you steal the money? What? What happened? What money? Why does he play stupid? He knows what money is involved. Mikey, please tell me. Did you take money from the basement? No, I honestly didn't take anything. I slept through the night. I'm telling you he's cheating. Now we'll check in your trunk. Yep, that's what I needed to prove. The little thief has been found. Mikey, I didn't expect this from you. But I didn't take anything, really. I'm not lying. What's this one in my hand? Why do you keep lying? I'm not lying to you. I didn't take it. Look at the nerve. Well, what if he really didn't take it? Now we'll punish him. He'll know how to steal from his family. Don't punish me. I'm telling the truth. And he keeps proving something to us. Well, I don't know how to prove it to you. I'm not lying to you. I didn't expect my son to be a thief and a cheat, too. Don't call me that. I don't deserve it. Wait a minute. Let's ask JJ. Okay. JJ, did you see Mikey take the money? Don't just protect your brother. Just tell me the truth. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. I saw him go into the basement tonight. No, 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 no. That's it. So you've been lying this whole time? Follow me. You're grounded. JJ, why would you say that? Why did you lie? Don't talk to him. Get over here. You've disappointed us. You will now live in the pantry. You did a terrible thing. You'll know how to steal money and cheat. Why? JJ tells lies and I don't lie. I don't even want to hear it anymore. Get in the closet. And just try to get out of there. Not until we say so. You've hurt us very badly. We're very angry with you. Please don't leave me here alone. JJ, tell them the truth. I'm not a thief or a liar. We did everything right. I agree with you. JJ, thanks for telling us the truth. You did the right thing. You didn't protect him or lie to him. You did good. We really appreciate it. We are proud of you. Thank you for those words. I think I'm gonna go lie down some more. Yeah, sure, go rest. When you wake up, come downstairs, we'll cook with mom. Yes, son, we'll make your favorite dish. Okay, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Now Mikey will sit there alone for a long time to come. He'll probably be sad. 
but at least I'll have the whole room to myself. And it's very cool. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. I feel a little bad for Mikey, but at least my parents didn't punish me. That's more important, isn't it? Now I can watch TV and what I want to watch or just sit on the computer. Do you think I did the right thing by turning Mikey in? I think everything's great. <laughs> Why did JJ do this to me? It's not like I did anything wrong. He also lied to our parents. And now I'm sitting here in the closet. Four to six days later. It's been a bunch of time since I've lived alone without Mikey in my room. I'm having a lot of fun living like this. No one gets in the way and you do whatever you want. For example, now I play on the computer and no one asks me to play too. While I certainly feel a little bad that Mikey has been sitting in the closet for so long, I certainly won't be telling my parents to let him go. I'd rather sit back and play on the computer. Hey, JJ, come here. We got something to show you. There's something very interesting here. No, thanks. I don't want to. It's much more fun to play on the computer. JJ, distract yourself for not too long. We'll just show you one video and that's it. It literally goes on for 10 seconds. I don't want to watch anything. Please don't disturb me. I have an important assignment. Well, quickly, JJ got the tablet in his hands and watched the video. Don't talk to us like that. We approach you nicely and ask you to do an easy task. Okay, all right, I'm sorry. Let me watch your video. Come here. Now we're going to give you the tablet. There's a short but very informative video. You have to watch it. Okay, I got it. Give me the tablet already. I'll see what you're asking. Here you go. I don't understand why this is such a big deal. I mean, this could have been watched at any other time. Now you're gonna turn it on. Watch it and you'll understand. All right, I'm turning it on. As long as no one hears me or catches me. I have to go down carefully and make sure there's no one downstairs. The main thing in this business is to take your time. All right, we can go to the basement. Wow, that's a lot of money. I'll take it all. Of course it's right, because now I can buy anything I want. Only now we have to make sure no one's here again. I don't know if anyone woke up and came in here. No one's here. We can run to the room. Oh no, I didn't know there was a camera. You stole the money. So it turns out who's a liar and a thief. How dare you do such a thing? I just wanted to give Mikey a present and I hid the money in his trunk. And when you guys showed up, I got scared. That doesn't excuse you. You did a terrible thing, and because of you, your brother was in the closet for days. I understand. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Now Mikey's gonna be happy and you're gonna go sit in the pantry. Oh no, I so don't want that. Let's go free Mikey, and you'll go straight to his place. And you'll be there a lot longer than Mikey. Please don't. I get it. Mikey, son, come here. Am I finally allowed to go out? We've been through the cameras and we know everything. We believe you now. JJ set you up. You finally believe me. I told you I didn't take anything. You're gonna punish him now, aren't you? Of course. He'll sit there more than you. Yay. I'm really excited about this. Come on in. It's your place now. Please forgive me. I get it. I'll never do it again. Mikey did time for nothing and you'll do time for stealing. I'm scared to sit here. Don't. You'll know how to steal and cheat. And you set me up, even though I was right. I've got it all figured out. I won't do it again. But no one listened to me or let me out. That's why you're gonna sit here, liar. Stop standing here and jumping. Get out of here. Don't mock me. Now I'm the only one left here. I guess I deserved it, unfortunately. Well, wait, what do I have in here? Ha ha ha, it's a tablet. They forgot all about it. Now I'm gonna spend my time here with my tablet. How lucky I am to have this. Hey, liar, give me my tablet back here right now. No, please, let me keep it. You better not make me angry. You deserve to sit here and do nothing. Give it to me now. Okay, don't yell. Hold your tablet. I can live here without it. That's great. You're gonna sit here for a week. More than that, you little thief. We're very angry with you. You set your brother up, you liar. Yeah, I shouldn't have done all that. I didn't even have time to buy anything. Christmas is coming. I remember always welcoming this magnificent holiday with my mom. Christmas is supposed to be celebrated with family, and I've been stuck here for a long time without family. It's kind of sad. I'm trapped in this orphanage. It's Christmas already, and I still haven't been adopted. This is the little room I live in. It's pretty cozy, but I'd feel much better with my mom. It's a shame she's gone. I love and miss her so much. 
Without her, my life seems so lonely. But at least I have my viewers with me, for whom I keep releasing these videos. Hey, JJ, I can congratulate you. Your new family is here to adopt you. What? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. You're not living here now. But my mom has to take me away from here. She's not taking you. You've been living here too long. No, I don't want a new family. I don't care what you want. You're going to live with them. It's settled. You don't get it, do you? These aren't real parents. They'll treat me badly. Hello, there's that boy. His name is JJ. No, I'm not that boy. He's a funny boy. We're taking him. I wonder if all speaker men are so noisy. I'd like to adopt him. I'm not your toy. We don't care. You'll be our second son, and this is your brother. Hi, my name's Mikey. I hope you two get along. We'll be a strong and happy family. I don't think so. Oh, come on. You're gonna have fun with me. That's what I'm afraid of. Don't be afraid. You'll get used to him. He's gonna be a goody-goody. I don't get it. You're going to discipline me now, aren't you? I'm not going to obey you. We're going to raise him well. You can punish him and hit him a little. Otherwise, he won't listen to anyone. That's what we were going to do. Mikey, you can rejoice. You're gonna have your own assistant. That's cool. You're gonna make my bed and put away my toys. But it's all wrong. I'll be a housewife in their house. I'd rather stay at the orphanage than go to them. Enough talk. Pack this kid up and send him on his way. We'll take him. This boy is going to be my Christmas present. Thanks, Mom. Nothing's too good for you, Mikey. Of course. Everything for our favorite son. Favorite son? Of course they're favorite. Foster children are always loved less than their birth children. But that's not fair. I want to be with my birth mom, not my foster mom. And I don't like TV men at all. Oh, you don't like TV men? Why is that? In our family, you will love us dearly. I will never love you. I only have one mother. I'll never have another. Behave yourself, JJ. You can't go back. Goodbye. Bye-bye. I hate you, too. God, you got some words, JJ. We don't allow that kind of language in our house. Yes, swearing is forbidden. Otherwise, we'll punish you. Okay, I hope I can get away from you. It was too hard to do that at the orphanage. What did you say, JJ? Uh, I didn't say anything. You imagined it. <laughs> I heard that. You're a funny guy. You and I are going to be friends. Three hours later. There's our house. You're going to live here now. That's pretty good. Hope you enjoy your stay with us, JJ. Where's he going to get away from us? Huh? I don't like what you're saying. You'll have a much better life here than in your orphanage. You're our son now, too. We will love and care for you just like we did in the last family. No one will take care of me like my real mom. Oh, stop whining already. It's going to be okay. Let's go inside already. It's getting cold in here. Okay, I'm really freezing out here. Huh. You're such a softy, JJ. I'm a softy? Try living without your parents for a couple years. Oh, we understand it hasn't been easy for you all this time. Now you have us. You can start loving us. Yeah, you can do that right now. Yep, just dropped everything and started loving you from that second. And here you have a cozy and spacious place. Not like my little room at the orphanage. Yeah, you should forget about the orphanage. And also forget about your mom. What did you just say? If you misbehave, you'll live in the basement. Oh, that's kind of cruel of you. But you're behaving acceptably so far. And this is is where the restroom is. If you want to poop really badly, you can go here. Oh, really? It's like I don't know what a toilet's for. It was just a joke, JJ. And this is where we have the TV where we watch cartoons. You're not allowed to do that yet. If you behave, you can watch it for 10 minutes a day. 10 minutes a day? Really? Okay. And there's our fireplace. You can warm your hands sometimes if you get cold. I got it. Cool fireplace, I'll say. And this is where we have the dining room table. We all eat with our family. Now you're going to eat with us. Oh, I'm just hungry. Hopefully dinner is about to be upon us. And these are our candles. We put them on when we pray to the Lord God. We're a pretty religious family. Oh, that's not good. And this is the Christmas tree. There's going to be a whole bunch of presents for you and Mikey. Hopefully, I'll have more gifts to give. No, I'll have more presents. Let's see your behavior. Either we buy presents equally, or Mikey gets more. Um, I don't like that kind of thing. I like it a lot, so behave badly next time. No, I'll be on my best behavior. Come on, we'll show you the second floor. Okay, let's go. I wonder what's in there. The whole second floor belongs to Mikey. But don't take offense. There's a corner for you, too. Okay, that makes me happy. Where am I going to sleep? Sleep? Huh, you'll find out later. Here's Mikey playing on the computer, playing with toys and taking a break from school. So I don't get it. Where am I going to sleep? Uh, sleep? Oh, we didn't think of that. That slipped our minds. Don't worry. We have a place for you. That's what's scaring me. We have a crib in the closet. You'll sleep there. Uh, are you serious? I'm going to sleep in the closet? Yeah, you're going to live here. It's really cool. But this room is even smaller than my old room at the orphanage. Don't swear like that. You'll get used to it. You're a very lucky man, JJ. You'll have your own room all to yourself. Why can't
can't I sleep next to Mikey? I don't want to sleep in the closet. Mikey's space is tight as it is. Stop whining. What do you mean I'm whining? It's not cool to sleep in a hole like this. You're gonna love it here, JJ. Not everything comes at once. Good night to you, Mom, Dad. Good night. Good night. Thank you for sleeping outside. I don't know why you're so upset. It's its own closet with a door. No one will see what you do in here at night. What are you even implying? What am I supposed to do here at night except sleep? Uh, JJ, you're so young and you don't understand anything. Good night to you. Sleep well. Okay, I still don't get you. Good night to you too, Mikey. Go back to sleep. I'm gonna go play some computer games. I'm allowed to play at night. Oh, really? Okay. Friends, do you have a big, big room? Write about it in the comments. And it's time for me to put my stuff in here. I don't have much, though. All I have with me is a picture of my favorite mom that I've been waiting for for years. I hope you show up someday and take me in. I'm surrounded by people who only want to hurt me. You're the only one I trust in this world, mom. Now I'd better go to sleep. Good night to you. The next day. What a realistic dream I had. It was like my mom came back for me and took me back. Too bad it was just a dream. I wonder if anyone's awake yet. Mikey's awake and playing on his computer. I'd like to play too. Hey Mikey, what are you playing at? Can I join you? I'm playing an intellectually stimulating game. Not everyone can play that. Wow, cool. I've never played one of these before. Can I try to play too? No, you're adopted. You can't play this game. I'm the only one playing it. Oh, well, okay. It's weird, but I can understand that. I'm gonna go downstairs and see what the foster parents are doing. Maybe they have something interesting going on over there. Wow, they are decorating the Christmas tree. How beautiful. Hi, you guys are doing great. Hey, JJ, thank you, you are very kind. We're getting ready for our favorite holiday. Therefore, we take a responsible approach to this business. Wow, how many gifts you've made. Are these presents for me and Mikey? Well, what do you think? I think Mikey and I have gifts here. You're absolutely right. There are presents for both of you. There's a lot of them. Cool. Thank you so much. JJ, we have an assignment for you. Here's some money for you. Please go to the store, JJ. We need to get some groceries for dinner. Take whatever you want to eat. Okay, I'll pick out everything for a lovely dinner. I'll be right there. Don't lose me. Goodbye. Bye. I love the holidays so much. I love getting presents. Do you guys like getting them? Okay, I gotta run to the grocery store because I'm starving and I wouldn't mind a good meal. Let's go get some food. The fastest. Moments later. Oh, I love winter. It gets so beautiful here. Do you guys like winter? Write your favorite season in the comments. And I have to go home now. How beautiful our house looks under the falling snow. I gotta run home. They're probably waiting for me by now, and I wouldn't mind eating something. Look how beautiful the Christmas tree looks along with the presents. Oh, JJ is finally back. Hi, did you buy everything? Did it all work out? Yes, I bought everything. I think I made a great choice. Thank you. Yay. You have helped us a lot. Cool. Now you can go up to your room and lie on your bed in peace. Okay. I'm gonna go do some thinking of my own. There's nothing to do anyway. All right, JJ, go ahead. It's so weird how they treat me, to be honest. I don't even know if it's good or bad. Wow, Mikey has so many toys. I'd love to play with him too. Hey Mikey, can I play with you? How do you think? I think I can. I don't think so. How many times have I told you? You're adopted. You're not allowed to play on the computer or play with me. But why? I won't ruin anything for you. I'll say it again, because you're adopted. That's a very strange thing to say. Hey kids, dinner's on the table. Come on, let's go. Because we've been hungry for a while now and it smells so good downstairs. Let's go, I'm hungry too. We're just about to have another little surprise for you that we prepared with daddy. Finally, I've been waiting for this day for so long. Okay, are we forgetting anything? It's like we're forgetting to say something. Uh, I don't think so. All right, let's go downstairs already. When I remember, I'll be sure to tell you. Good. I don't mind going downstairs myself. We're taking a long time to eat. Look at the beauty we've prepared. Tonight at the holiday table, we'll be eating piggy. How weird it looks, but it does smell really good. Let's all sit down at the table. We're having a full family dinner tonight. Tonight after we eat, I'm going to give you little gifts. Daddy and I have been doing all this all day today. That's just great. Let's hurry up and eat so we don't waste any time. But mom, let's get the presents first, and then we can eat in peace. All right, Mikey, you can go look. Your presents are under the Christmas tree. Look at all the things we've made. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to have so many gifts. Yes, thank you so much. I've never had so many gifts before. It's unbelievable. You're welcome, Mikey. But JJ, these presents are for Mikey, not you. Then where are my presents? I want one too. Don't worry, we've got a present for you too. 
Here it is. Cool. Here you go, JJ. A what? You're welcome to use it. But it's just a regular banana. You gave Mikey this much and I get one banana? Yeah, that's what happened. Are you Mikey glad you got so many presents? Of course I am. Why don't you go to your closet? We'll have a threesome without you. You're awful. You can't do that to children. I am very upset and offended by you. You're very bad. Oh my God, they're messing with me. It's times like this that I realize I have no one but you, Mom. Why did you leave me? Don't you need me at all? Have I been a bad son to you? I'd do anything to see you again. I don't know if you need me now, but I need you more than ever. Oh, what is that? Someone's ringing the doorbell? Did she hear my pleas? I have to open the door. I don't want to stay in this house anymore. I'm a total stranger here. No one loves me. Okay, who's there? Mom? Is it really you? Hey, JJ, I'm sorry I've been gone so long. I rushed to you as fast as I could. The teacher told me the address of the people who took you in. That's how I found you. And this is your Christmas present. Oh my God, Mom, you're the best. You're my most treasured Christmas present. Thank you for coming to me. Take this. Merry Christmas, JJ. Thank you so much. This is the best holiday of my life. I'm not going anywhere from you now, JJ. Come with me. It's my pleasure, Mom. I'll go to the ends of the earth with you. I'm so glad you're back with me. Let's go celebrate this this wonderful holiday together. Wouldn't that family be against it? We don't care about them at all. They're strangers to us, and you're a stranger to them too. You're always right, Mom. I have no one in this life but you. I love you, Mom. I love you too, JJ. Let's go home. It's getting cold outside. Yes, it's time to go to my real home, and I'm gonna keep this house for Mikey. He'll be much better off without me. Let's go to the bus stop. One day later. Today I'm playing with Mikey on the playground outside our house. Hi, 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 I'm Mikey. Look at this wooden pony. One of the few toys we have, but it's so cool. Okay, get off the pony, Mikey. JJ, what are we doing today? It's only morning. There's a whole day ahead of us. Even the sun is just waking up. Why don't we go home and play together for a while? Good idea, Mikey. Let's go. Let's go, JJ. I'm so tired from scrounging around in the garbage looking for food yesterday. There's not always food at home, you know. And in general, we've gotten a little poor. But it doesn't matter. The main thing is that we're together. One family. We're running out of food and my paycheck isn't due for a while yet. We have to do it now. Oh, hey, kids, we have some bad news for you, since you can see that we don't have much money. It's a mutual decision between me and my dad. Anyway, we don't have much food. You guys eat too much, especially Mikey. Our refrigerator is almost empty. So, Mikey, you have to go. You're still adopted. What? Are you serious? Are you out of your mind? It's a final decision. Get out now. But we're a family. You don't. Mikey, get out of our house. You're an adopted child. I thought you loved me. We never loved you, Mikey. Go away. Now. You eat up all our supplies and whine about it. I can't stand to see you here. Get out of here. Get out. Okay, if no one wants me here, I'll leave. What are you talking about? Are you crazy? Mikey is part of our family. He's your responsibility. He's my brother. We don't care. Mikey, the door's over there. Mikey, I'm not leaving you. You're my brother. I'll always love you. Thank you, JJ. I appreciate it. Mikey, I'm coming with you. No, JJ. You weren't kicked out. You're their son. If you need me, I'll live nearby in that forest. Thanks for sticking up for me. I really appreciate it. I hope I don't cause any more trouble for my parents. Bye, my brother. Hope to see you again. Why is that? Is our family so poor that we can't afford to provide for Mikey? It's horrible, unfair, unjust. I will do my best to support my brother. I'm gonna have to think of something about that. That's terrible. Two hours later. Hello again, everyone. I figured Mikey's in the woods with nothing to eat right now. I'll sneak something from our supplies and feed him. Let's see what we have to eat here. Maybe an apple. Mikey likes apples. Too bad there's no burgers. My parents forbid me from feeding and helping Mikey, but I don't care. As long as they don't find out. Oh, hey, JJ. What's that in your hand? Are you hiding something? I didn't see anything. Why are you picking on your son? No, I definitely saw something in his hands. No, Dad. You're imagining things. I don't have anything. All right, I just thought I saw something red. Honey, JJ himself is red and color. You're imagining it. It doesn't matter. JJ, have a nice walk. Bye-bye. Bye. Don't stay out late. Who? I think I'm okay. I hope Mikey's happy with that apple. He's got nothing to eat in there. Mikey hid really well. It's gonna be night soon, and I still haven't found him. I think this is the right path. Oh, I found it! Mikey had already made himself a fire in a small tent. That's a good boy! Mikey, hi, how are you doing? I see you're settling in. Where'd you get the fire in the tent? Hey, JJ, I found this in a dumpster nearby. Cool, I brought you an apple. Oh, an apple. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I haven't eaten all day. From now on, I'll bring you food every day. You need to eat, too. I'm so grateful to you, JJ. Don't thank me, it's all for you. You're the only one who didn't leave me. Hopefully it won't be cold tonight because the tent's pretty thin. 
That's right, it's going to be night soon. Mom said not to stay out late. You're leaving already? That's too bad. But okay, we can meet tomorrow. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. There are bears around here. I hope I'll make friends with them. Good for you. All right, Mikey, I gotta go home. Good luck. Okay, JJ, thanks for the apple. Bye-bye. Bye, Mikey, don't miss me. Bye, see you tomorrow. Glad he's not doing too badly. Now he's fed and content. That's great. I guess I didn't show up late. No one should suspect a thing. Did you eat it? You know we're saving food. I haven't eaten anything this day. Oh, JJ, you didn't eat the apple that was in the fridge? Uh, no, I didn't eat anything. He could have given it to Mike. No, I didn't give him anything. He was out today. You stole the apple, JJ. You're a thief. I'm disappointed in you. You know very well that we're starving, but you stole for someone else. Take it. That's right, darling. JJ, now get some sleep. You got a lot of work tomorrow. Yes, go to bed now. You're punished. Punished? For the apple? Yes, for an apple. Go to bed. We barely have anything to eat. And you're throwing food away for some random people. We need to count all our crumbs again for the week ahead. We're gonna have to eat grass like some cows. Oh my god, have we gotten so poor so fast? But I don't regret taking care of Mikey. I will continue to feed him every day. The next day. Oh, my back. How does anyone sleep on this floor? Oh, uh, I got up before my parents. Great. While they're sleeping, I'm gonna sneak some more food out of the fridge and go to Mikey's. I'm only taking one carrot. Hopefully they won't notice it's missing. It would be very unpleasant if they found out I was stealing food. Dad hit me really hard last evening, but I can't leave Mikey without food. He lives there all alone. He has no way to get his own food. I just have to help him in any way I can. Phew, it's so nice that he doesn't live too far from our house. Mikey, hey, what's up? Oh, huh, hmm, JJ. You must be really hungry, huh? Yeah, well, I'm a little hungry. I have carrots with me. Eat them. Wow, thank you, JJ. Bon appetit. I actually only ate your apple last time, so thank you so much. You can't find any food here at all? Yeah, there's nothing else in this place besides leaves and trash. Ooh, that sounds pretty hard. Yeah, but it's not that bad. Really? I've got heat, a small tent, and I found this in one of the garbage cans. Oh, that looks like some kind of lottery ticket. Cool. Yep, I don't think I can win. Hmm. So this beautiful gold leaf will stay with me as a keepsake. Oh my god. Wow, that sounds awesome. What is this? Uh... JJ, you hear that too? Who in their right mind would live here? Yeah, I hear it too, and the sounds are coming from there. Oh, hmm. Oh, I finally found someone. Uh, hello? Hello. Oh, hmm. Are you looking for someone? Hi, which one of you is Mikey? It's me, my name's Mikey. Yeah. Congratulations, my young friend. Uh, you found not just a ticket, but a winning ticket. Huh, what? Wow, you've got to be kidding me. Oh. No way. Your winnings are $1 million. Uh, so you're serious? Yes. Cool, now I'm rich. Don't forget to come by the office and pick up your winnings. Okay, okay. See you later. Bye. JJ, there's so much I can buy now. Yeah. I'll be able to safely buy a lot of food even. It's so cool. All right, Mikey, I'm going home then. Wait, JJ, wait. Hmm. It's so cool. Why do you want to leave? Mikey, I got to go home. But but why? Did I offend you in some way? You don't need my food now, so you don't need me anymore. No, JJ, you're my brother and I need you. Yeah. Come live with me. Oh no, Mikey, I have to stay with my parents and help them. Oh, I hear you. Okay, but I'll definitely see you around, right? Yes, of course. Then be sure to come visit me. All right, see you soon. Bye, JJ. Wow, Mikey won so much money. I'm happy for him. I'm definitely going to go visit Mikey in a few days. It would be interesting to see how he's doing. Oh, I wish things could be better for our family too. But it's not up to I me. I told you I didn't take anything. Who could have taken it then? I don't know that. I guess I know who took the carrots, don't I, JJ? Uh... JJ... That's so awful. You're not ashamed of stealing from your own family. But I did it for a reason. Why are you even doing this? No shame, no conscience. So? I was sneaking food to Mikey. But he's not even your own brother. So what if he's not my blood? He's still my brother. He's just an idiot. Hmm. I don't understand you at all. And now that he's won one million dollars, he doesn't need our food anymore. How interesting. Oh, our favorite smart little guy. Wait, what? I I always believed he could do it. This is just an incredible event. Let's not delay and go see him. I miss him so much already. He'll be so happy when he sees us. But you chased him away. These are moments of the past. I don't think it's that simple. Are you gonna argue with me, JJ? No, Dad. That's right, JJ. Don't argue with your father. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Hurry up, JJ. Hurry up, hurry up. We're starting a new life. We're gonna buy so much stuff. Yay. Yeah. Three hours later. Oh my god, look at this mansion. JJ, are you sure this is where Mikey lives? Yes, this is the right place. It looks too fancy. This lawn is 100 times more expensive than our entire house. Oh, I can't wait for all this luxury. Hmm. My goodness, I can't even imagine how much cars like this can cost. They look just mega cool. Oh, that car's gonna be mine. Ha, huh, Mom, that's funny. This is no joke, JJ. Ha, huh, what? Isn't it, my love? Of course, what's Mikey's is ours, too. We are his dearest and dearest parents. Oh, hmm. Well, I don't think Mikey thinks so, but okay. We've had enough insistence here. Let's get into this marvelous house. 
house. Uh, okay. So how do we get this door open? Ring the bell. Oh, I knew it had to be done that way. Mikey, hey, open up. It's me, JJ. Also, your favorite family is here. Hmm. Wow, JJ. Hey, you're finally here. Uh, yeah, hi. Shouldn't you say hello to us? We're waiting. Uh, I wasn't expecting you at all. Oh, kid. Mikey, our favorite son. Am I your favorite son? Uh. You kicked me out the first chance you got. Well, it was just a little mistake. We all make mistakes. Don't be a bore, Mikey. I don't want to know you anymore. Oh. And don't ever come here again. Oh, do I have to leave too? JJ, come live with me. We don't need these people. Wow, I would be only too happy to live with you. Cool, so there's no problem. Let's go. Yeah. JJ, as your father, I absolutely forbid you to associate with that horrible boy. You don't have boy. to hang out with some TV guy. Oh, hmm. He's not just a TV guy. He's my brother. JJ. And you both better accept the fact that I'm going to live with Mikey and not you both. Uh, wait. Because you're both jealous. You've been the worst part of our lives. Yes, that's right. I don't want to know you both anymore either. Goodbye. You'll regret it later. No, leave and don't ever come back here. We'll never bother you again. Bye-bye. Don't regret it, JJ. Oh, I won't regret it. JJ, I didn't expect you to drive your parents away like that. Hmm, why? Well, they're your family. No, Mikey, you're my family now. Hee-hee-hee. <laughs> okay, now that we're living together, I'll show you the house. Cool. You're gonna be blown away by all the amenities in this place. Really? Yeah, look, it's like my kitchen and dining room at the same time. Oh. And this is also my Ipple laptop. Oh my god, it looks so cool, but what do you need it for? Well, I'm a businessman now. Really? Of course not, I needed to play games. Wow, Mikey. Now I'm gonna show you something much cooler. Oh. It's a giant TV in our living room. It's unbelievable. There's also a game console. Oh, what? We can play all kinds of games right here. Cool. Yeah, let me show you my gaming place with the coolest computer. Okay, uh, is it really? possible? Dual monitors and a supercomputer. How cool is that? Hee hee hee. Mikey, can I play it? Of course you can, but not now. Oh, that's too bad. Don't get upset. I just want to show you the rest of our house. Oh, is there anything else to see? Yes, there's a second floor. Wow, what's in there? That's where you and I have our bedrooms and a little playroom. Wow, cool, Mikey. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. Yeah. A few moments later. I'm so uncomfortable sleeping here, you wake up in a bad mood. But then again, I'm used to that sort of thing by now. Hey, everyone. Don't be scared, guys. I live on the street and this is my home. My main goal in the morning is to find something to eat because my stomach is really hurting again. And as usual, not one person passed passed by and left at least some food. It's time to stop looking over there every day and expecting some miracle. All I have to do is go to my favorite dumpster and find at least some unfinished bread. Especially since I saw that since yesterday I've had people coming in to take out the trash. There's kind of something lying around, but it all looks awful and what the hell is that? Who threw something at my head? Please forgive me. I accidentally kicked the ball at you. Oh well, that's all right then. I thought you were messing with me on purpose. Really, no. I'm not that kind of person. Person. I'm sorry again. I'm really ashamed of it. I know. Don't worry about it. I live on the street and eat in the garbage. I'm so glad you're apologizing to me. Oh, really? Yeah, that's why I was standing here. I was looking for something to eat. And where do you live? Now I'll show you. My sleeping place is just around the corner. Mostly I lie here and wait for some help. Wow, do you really sleep here? Yes, that cabin at least has a warm fire and a roof. Before that, I just slept outside without any heat or other comfort. I'm very sad for you. I'm very sorry you live like this. I'm very sad every time myself, but I'm used to it and don't expect a miracle. How about we be friends and you come live at my house? You're not kidding, are you? Are you telling the truth? Of course, I just want to be friends with you. I want to be friends with you too. I'm really glad you're offering it to me. Then come on, I'll show you where I live and then we'll play together. Super, I'm really glad you're so kind. Just sorry I don't know your name yet, but you forgot something. I'm Mikey, what did I forget? You forgot the ball you kicked at me. It's okay, let him stay here. If if anything, someone will play with him. You're really very good. My name's JJ, by the way. I didn't even introduce myself. Let's go home, JJ. Here we are at last. This is where I live with my parents. Wow, what a cool house you have. It looks really nice. It's true. I like him a lot, too. Let's go home soon. I'll introduce you to my parents. Would they be okay with me living with you? I'm a bum. Don't worry. They're very kind. They'll definitely agree to let you live with us. You're my friend. I really hope so, or it will be embarrassing. And here they are. Now we'll come over here and I'll ask about you. I'm a little nervous, but I'm ready, so let's not procrastinate. Mom, hi, I'm home. Hey, son, is this your new friend? It's a little late for guests, Mikey. He's homeless. I want him to live with us. Wow, that is really sad. Yeah, it's not nice to be like that.
that. Can he come live with us? I think you can. Of course you can. You can't leave him outside. Thank you so much. I'm very happy about this. Only I'm still a little hungry. I haven't eaten in a while. Don't worry, we'll feed you. You're all very kind. I'm very glad I met Mikey and he brought me here. You can make yourself at home. We will never leave you in trouble. Finally, a miracle happened for me. Here, I found some bread in the fridge. Here you go. Have a good meal. Finally, I haven't had fresh bread in a long time. Only old bread from the trash. Then here's everything I found. You need it more than we do. He was looking for food in the trash when I met him. It's true. And now it tastes really good to me and I'll stop being hungry. Eat a good meal and go to your room. Mikey will show you where you can sleep and live. Come on, JJ. I've got a very interesting place over there. You were right, Mikey. Your parents are good people. I shouldn't have even bothered. Well, there you go. And now we're gonna live together and be best friends. And this is your entire second floor? Yeah. You can do whatever you want and use whatever you want here. I even have a TV with cartoons. Wow, I've never seen a TV this big in my life. We can watch my favorite cartoons together. I won't be so bored alone. What a lovely day. And this is where I have a very powerful computer. It supports all the games you want to play. Wow, I will definitely have to try it out when I have time. I'd love to. And such large monitors. It's a pleasure to watch movies here. It's cool that you have stuff like this. You're very lucky. Okay, well, it's too late to play now. Come on, I'll show you your sleeping quarters. Wow, is that my new bed? I've never had such a soft spot in my life. Now you'll be sleeping on it instead of on the floor outside. Cool, I really appreciate it, Mikey. Let's just go to bed tonight and play everything tomorrow. I agree with you. I'm getting sleepy myself. Sleep well. Now I can happily go to sleep in my own bed. See you guys tomorrow. The next day. Hey, JJ, wake up already. It's morning. It's not cool to sleep in too long. Oh my god, why do I have to wake up so early? Because I want to have a lot of fun with you tonight. Uh, sounds a little scary already. What do you want to do to me? You were bored when you lived alone. We're together now, JJ. We're gonna have some real world fun. I hope I don't get kicked out of the house for your pranks. I've only lived here a day. I don't want to pretend I'm a bully. Oh, you're such a chicken, JJ. Either you have fun with me or you get out of here. Okay, okay, I'll have fun with you. What's in your drawer? It's a spray paint can. Now we're going to paint all the walls here. Don't you think your parents are gonna beat you up for this? They can beat me up, but we'll do it together and they'll beat us together. Okay, I love it. Do you even know what we're gonna paint? Definitely not flower houses, JJ. We're gonna do some super cool graffiti. Graffiti? Oh, I don't know how to do graffiti. It's not that complicated. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Okay, let's go. Wow, I'm doing good, Mikey. Keep painting, JJ. We're making a great drawing. You know, I like it already. I'm a born artist. I'm already getting ideas for a second graffiti. I told you it was really cool and you'd love it. Oh yeah, for a picture like that, I don't think your parents would swear at you. They love me and they won't fight over little things like that. Hey guys, how are you two doing? We paint mega cool graffiti. A uh, what? In our house? Who gave you permission to do that? It's horrible. Mikey forced me to do it. Mikey did it? No, that's JJ. What? He found some spray paint cans somewhere and painted the walls. No, that's a lie. We did it together. You stinking child. You should be punished for such misbehavior. Yeah, he's really bad. We're punishing you. You're going to stay home and not go out. That's a terrible thing to do, JJ. Oh my God, Mikey betrayed me. It's not fair. He also wants to slander Mikey. I'm disappointed in JJ. You should be ashamed of yourself. I tried to talk him out of it, but he wouldn't listen to me. Don't listen to him. He's lying to you. He painted graffiti too. Mikey, let's go get you some ice cream. Oh, that's a good idea. Let's go. No offense, JJ. My parents love me more than you. Huh. Stop right there. I want ice cream too. Oh my God. I never thought he would betray me at all. Guys, what kind of ice cream do you like? Chocolate or vanilla? Write about it in the comments. I like vanilla. Three hours later. Well, at least it's better than the outdoors. I'm fed and satisfied. Guys, do you think Mikey did a good thing? Write it in the comments. Personally, I haven't gotten mad at him in a long time. I even managed to clean up all the stuff I drew with him. Hey, JJ. Hello. How you doing? Hey, Mikey. Just playing with this pink horse. And you know what this horse is better than you? She would never betray me. I'm sorry, JJ. My parents would have scolded me. Let's just make up. Why do I need you when I have a horse? You'll get bored playing with a horse after a day and I'm too
too fun and interesting for all life. All right, I forgive you. You're too funny. Let's watch cartoons together. Oh, that's a good idea. Cartoons can't hurt anyone, I guess. But cartoons can wait. While we were out walking, I found this funny-looking guy. Uh, did you find a new friend to replace me? Uh, no. This guy could be our new friend. The three of us playing together is so much cooler. And where is this new friend? He's waiting for us behind that door. I'll introduce you to him. Uh, okay. Show it to me. I'm already wondering who he is. Here he is. Meet him and love him. Oh, hi, everybody. My name is George. <laughs> Mikey said we wanted to play. Huh, he's such a cool dude. But he stinks a little bit. <laughs> I don't care at all. Let's go play with him. Let's play. Okay, George. Welcome to our home. Come on in and don't be shy. By the way, don't you have anything to eat? I'm really hungry today. Of course. We have a fridge full of food. We'll feed you now. Oh, you guys are so kind. Mikey, go get some food for our guest. Right away, gentlemen. I'd like to drink a beer. No, no beer. It's too bad. We should only eat healthy food. But I can't live without beer. I'm drunk. No, 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 no. You're becoming a good person now. Oh, no. I want to be bad. Oh, here's your food, George. You can eat it. Some fresh apples, very good bread, crispy cookies, cakes, and fried chicken. Wow. I haven't eaten food this good and expensive in ages. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot, Mikey. We fed a homeless man. And now he's going to live in our house. Moments later. Um, I still don't think he's living here quite quite right. Easy, JJ. Keep it down. George is sleeping and resting after a hard life of homelessness. But why did he litter here? Because he doesn't know how to live any other way, JJ. He lived the same way on the street. In a little while, he'll be living like us. What's so hard about it? Just put the trash in the trash cans, not around you. I don't care at all. My parents will clean up afterwards. I'm gonna go poop. Just don't do it right here like George. I'm a normal person and I'll do it in the bathroom. Okay. George is feeling really good right right now. Only Mikey's parents won't be happy to have him home. He made such a big mess. Looks like I'll have to clean up after him here. Oh my god, what's going on here? Why is there so much garbage? Is this JJ's trash again? Uh, no, I didn't litter. George did. He's sleeping here. What? Who's George? You did all this. No, 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 no. We have a new friend, George. He wanted to eat a lot, and then he wanted to sleep a little. Mikey knows him much better than that. Just ask him. Uh, what's going on here? Mikey, did you bring that homeless guy to us? Uh, no. It's a friend of JJ's. They go way back. All homeless people know each other. Hey, it's a lie again. You're sabotaging our house again. We're sick of your pranks, JJ. It's not me. He did it on purpose. That's it. You don't live here anymore. Yeah, get him out of here. First you paint the walls, then you bring your friends here. He should be punished again. Pack your things and get out of here. Oh my god, I didn't think Mikey would betray me again. We hate you. You're awful. And do you love me? We only love Mikey, and you're not our son anymore. Oh my god, now I'm gonna be homeless again? Hey, this is my house. <laughs> Don't kick me out. Get out of here, you stinking homeless man. No one wants you. You're also disgusting. No more homeless people in our house. I'm sick of feeding these insolent and stinking mouths. We gotta do something about JJ. If we kick him out of the house, he'll be living under our door. Think of something. I hate him. He's so stupid and weak. Oh, I think I have an idea. We'll get rid of him forever. So what are we gonna do? Huh, we'll take him to a place he can never get out of. We're literally gonna kick him out of our lives. All right, there's no one here. Nobody saw us. Get him in the trunk of our car. Hey, let me go. Shut up and don't fight back. Get him over here, honey. <laughs> Here's our useless and homeless boy. Soon you'll be in a place you can call home. Let me go. I won't bother you anymore. No, no, no. You're homeless like vermin. We've got to get rid of you. Do you realize you're protecting a human being right now? You're going to jail for this. Shut up. Your mouth stinks, stupid homeless JJ. It was that bum who stunk. Oh my god, I've been knocked out. Where did they take me? Why am I on the beach? Am I on a desert island? Oh no, I don't want to stay here. That's what their plan was? To get rid of me forever? That's so hurtful of them. Hey, don't leave me alone. Ha ha, bye bye, stupid loser. Now you have a home. You can start jumping for happiness. Happy? How am I supposed to get out of here? There's nothing here but sand and a couple of palm trees. I'm not like Robinson Crusoe. I can't survive on such a small island. Ha ha, bye bye, JJ. Good luck on this island.